when life gives you lemons, do some tequila shots. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Well, today we're not going to be working on a motorcycle or a ride-in or uh, working in the garage. We're going to be making some lemonade. Um, you know, summer's coming up, and I live in an area of San Diego called Lemon Grove. And guess what? There's lemons. Of course, all in Southern California, a lot of citrus here. A uh, friend of mine delivered me this entire bag of, well, let's see, one, two, three bags of lemons when I mentioned that I wanted to make some homemade lemonade. Uh, well, I don't need quite that many. Um, I guess I'll be making lots of lemonade. But uh, we're going to get started. What you need is about six or seven lemons. Since I have so many lemons here, I'm going to be making a double batch. But I will let you know, you know um, when I'm doubling stuff up so that if you want to just make a single batch of this, you can. But if you have an abundance of lemons, I could probably make a uh, ten-fold batch here. I just don't have enough room in my refrigerator to put that much lemonade. So first thing you want to do is pick out your lemons. Like I said, get about six or seven good sized lemons and wash them really well. So I'm going to take these in the sink, hit them up with some hot water and a scrubby brush. Look at those beauties and they smell really good. Smell that? Oh yeah. Now the key to good lemonade is getting all the flavor out of these lemons. You can just cut these open, squeeze them into this bowl here, add some sugar and some water, you'd have lemonade. But the real flavor in a lemon is in the peel. That's where all the lemon oil is at. So what we need to do is we need to figure out a way to get that lemon flavor into our lemonade. So I know this is gonna be a little bit more work and if you're lazy, and trust me, I am lazy as well, then you're probably just gonna go open a uh, crystal light packet. But what we're gonna do is we are going to peel the outer skin off of these lemons, just like that. See that? We haven't gotten into the white. We just get the yellow part off here. So we wanna try to peel as much of this skin off of these lemons. Like I said, if you're making a single batch, six or seven, I'm making a double batch. I think I have 14 lemons here. So I'm gonna get these all peeled up and we'll come on back. All right, when you're done, you should have a pile of lemons like that and you should be able to feel every single cut on your fingers and a bowl full of lemon peels. See, did a pretty good job. Didn't get very much of the whites on there. Some of these have a little bit thinner skin, so you just gotta be careful. Now, what we're gonna do to extract all this lemony delicious flavor and the lemon oils out of here is we're gonna add the sugar to this. Um, for a single batch, which would be, like I said, about six lemons, you'd add one and a quarter cups of sugar. I doubled up, so I got two and a half cups of sugar here. That's lemonade. So, of course, you need sugar. Add that in there, and then Stir it up good, get these all nice and coated. I a little underestimated the size of the bowl, so we upgraded here. So stir it all up. I'm gonna put some plastic wrap on this, and what you wanna do is you wanna let this sit about, well, I'd say at least four hours. You can let it sit all day, like 12 hours. I'm gonna, I am started this early in the morning here, so I'm probably gonna try to go eight to 10 hours, let this sit. And the sugar is going to help extract the oils out of these peels. And we'll take a look at it in a few hours. My lemon peels and sugar have been hanging out for about five or six hours now. And as you can see, that uh, sugar has kind of liquefied with the oil from this lemon peel. So what we're going to do now is we're going to extract all that out. Now I have... 10 cups of water boiling here on the stove. And like I said, I got a double batch here. So if you make a single batch, you only need five. If you do a triple batch, 15, you all know math. So bring it to a boil, shut it off. And then you wanna add this in, add that all in there and 
Stir it until that sugar is dissolved. Give it about five minutes. And then we're going to strain out the lemon rinds. Let's see if I can get you out. There you go. We'll scrape that out. Get all that goodness in there. And this smells really good right now. Super sweet and lemony. All right, your lemon peels and sugar will have to um, sit in there for a couple minutes. I let them sit for about four or five minutes. And then you strain out the lemon peels carefully. Try not to spill so much like I did. that cool I don't know 30 minutes or so while the uh, lemon and sugar mixture cools off we're gonna go ahead and squeeze our lemons here I have one of these nice citrus squeezers but you can do this by hand if you wanted to um, a lot of times this will put some pulp and some seeds in here so if you have a strainer you're gonna want to strain this out so I've got a little bit of work ahead of me. Squeeze out these lemons. I got all my lemon juice in there. It's quite a bit, but uh, you know, I had what, 14 or so lemons. And our sugar mixture here has cooled off. So we're gonna add that to the pitcher. And that's why I like to make a double batch. Get almost a gallon there. And now we're gonna throw that in the refrigerator for about two hours, two or three hours, let it cool off before we can enjoy it. So it's a process, but it's gonna be worth it. How's that for a thing of beauty? Cheers, everyone. It's a beautiful, nice, warm day, Southern California. Mm, just sweet enough and tart enough. Perfect. Awesome lemonade. <sighs> Refreshing to relax with. Now, like I said, it's a little bit more work than just squeezing some lemons and adding some uh, sugar and water, but I think you're going to enjoy it. All right, if you're liking the content I'm putting out, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and if you're not already a subscriber, why don't you consider doing so? Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.